Hello, and welcome to part two of my screencast series on how to use the LCOTT robotic telescopes. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take your black and white observations and turn them into stunning full colour images. This tutorial is therefore only relevant once you've acquired your own observations. Now, the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and go to lcott.net. From here, select the Astronomers option and go to the Observing and Proposal portal. You may need to log in here. If you're already logged in, then go to view all your observations from the homepage. You'll be taken to a gallery with all of the observations that you've taken using the telescopes. Choose the three images that you'd like to color and download each one as a JPEG. You will need three images as you need a red image, a blue image, and a green image. You can tell what filter each image has been taken with by looking on the right hand side. For example, Bessel R is an R-band filter, a red filter. Bessel B is a B-band filter, a blue filter. And the V-band filter stands for visible, which are the green filters. So simply click the JPEG button and then right click and save your picture. You'll want to make a note of which filter you're saving each time. So when this is done, you can close down each tab, open up a new tab and go to the address on screen now. That's apps.pixlr.com forward slash editor. So the good thing about this is that it's a web-based app, so you can do all the image editing on your browser and you don't need to download any new software. So the first thing that you want to do is select open image from computer. Begin by opening your red image. You can adjust the levels by going to adjustment, levels, and then just move the sliders. The aim here is to get the background as dark as possible without losing any of the details. If you do edit the image with the sliders, make a note of this number here, as you'll need to make sure you use the same settings on each image. When you're happy, click OK. OK, so the next step is to add some colour to your image. To do this, go to Adjustment and Hue and Saturation. The only thing we really need to change is the hue. There's a table on screen now that shows you which hue to use for each image. So for example, for the red image, we use the hue 200, and then press colorize to check that you've got the right color. You'll probably want to leave the saturation on lightness at zero, but feel free to play around with these. Okay, so that layer's done. Now we want to open the second layer, go to layer, open new layer, and let's go with the green layer. So we repeat the same steps, change the level, and then go to hue and saturation. The hue for green is minus 70. And finally, the blue layer. The hue for the blue layer is 70. Okay, so there we go, we got three colored images. The next step is to merge these images together. To do this, go to the layers box on the right hand side and click the slider option. Here we want to change the mode from normal to screen on both your blue and green images. And there you go, you've got a beautiful three color image. There are still a couple of final changes we can make. If like mine, your image is slightly misaligned, we can fix this by simply selecting two of the layers at a time, make the layer that you're not using invisible, and then click the magnifying option to zoom in. Once you've zoomed in, choose the movable tool, which is at the top on the left hand side. Click on the layer and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to align the layers. Once you're happy, make the layer you've just been working with invisible and move on to the next. When you've finished, make all layers visible again and zoom out. Much better. Now the final optional step is to crop your image. You can do this by selecting the crop option on the right hand side, selecting the part of the image that you'd like to keep, and then pressing enter. And there you go, congratulations, you've just created your first full colour astronomical image. You can now share this with your class, your friends, or you can post it to the Universe in the Classroom image gallery. So thank you and I'll see you next time.